What's up everybody? Welcome to my 25th JavaScript tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to create objects and what objects are. So what an object is is pretty much a different way to organize information in JavaScript. It's a lot easier, well I'm not going to say easier, but it's different than a variable and a lot of people think it's a lot easier so I figured might as well teach you. Now there are two ways that you can actually make objects in JavaScript and those are a constructor function which we're going to be learning how to do today or by using an, something called an object initializer. So let's go ahead and start with our constructor function to build our first object. Now I'm going to be putting this in the head of our uh, document since we don't really want to put it in the body because we don't really want the user to see it we just need it to uh, tell the browser what to do so go ahead and start building your function by typing in the word function let me move my mouse so you can see it and let's uh, make computer why because computers are always fun to play around with so right now what we did right here is we defined our function we have a function and we're going to name it computer now in the parameters we're going to be filling in those later but right now I'm just going to leave them empty and right here inside your brackets this is where all the properties go so again define your function name it whatever you want to name it I name my computer and inside here is where the properties go now all of this right here is the basic uh, building ground for your constructor function this is what all the layouts are pretty much gonna look like so now that I showed you what it's gonna look like let's go ahead and fill this bad boy in the parameters that I'm gonna use for my computer again you can use any but um I want to give mine something that has properties so I'm gonna go with drive for hard drive uh, let's go with RAM and let's go with CPU and what we need to do in our properties is actually assign values to our parameters right now we have parameters but they don't really mean anything and the computer doesn't really know what to do with them so to do this and to give kind of a variable to them we need to use a keyword called this how ironic and again these are the things you can change but this keyword this is a built in javascript keyword and you cannot change it at all so don't even think about it so what we want to do is go ahead and type this drive in equals and if you're wondering why we're doing this we're gonna give a value to this drive so this drive is gonna go ahead and equal drive and if this sounds like a extra step that you don't need to take then um, complain to JavaScript so next we want to do this RAM and we're gonna set it equal to RAM and of course don't be like me and forget your semicolons and last but not all, all last but not least there we go Ooh. this CPU equals CPU so what we did pretty much here is make it a lot easier to work with so now whenever we call CPU it knows exactly what one we're talking about so before we can actually start start calling these variables we need to make something called an instance now this is uh let me guy let me show you the syntax for it real quick and then you guys will understand it a lot more. Again, in your head still let me scroll down a little bit so you can see. We're gonna make a variable. There we go. And we're gonna name this my new comp for my new computer. Now after this you want to go ahead and type the keyword new and what this does is show JavaScript in the browser that we're given we're gonna give this object a new set of 
properties. So we're going to type new computer. So you type new and then whatever your function's name is. And then inside those parameters, you can go ahead and type three new values. So I'm going to go ahead and type, um, let's type hard because we want our drive to be hard. And let's type uh, three gigabytes because that's how much RAM we want. And let's go ahead and type um, Intel because that's what kind of processor we want. Now as you can see what we are doing is assigning new values to our object right here. Here's what we're pretty much saying. We want our drive to be hard for a hard drive. We want three gigabytes of RAM and we want an Intel processor. So if this all doesn't really make sense to you right now, um, I'm gonna stop my tutorial right now because I'm taking up a bunch of time. But watch my next tutorial and we'll put all this to use and everything will just light up and you'll be under able to understand it like a piece of cake. So thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my next tutorial.